this is the test roll here first one and it's just a small amount of that material on the roll you can see it it's not working as well as I thought on on uh, a couple of these and then that one is almost perfect and that one's almost perfect so I really believe it's just a, a, a problem of tension I can pull these off do them one at a time and I, I should be able to cut it easier and cut it cleaner because I'm only worrying about the tension of one of those blades and not trying to keep four blades cutting the, at the same time so seems to be working it took some modifying but I finally got it to where it's doing the job boogered up a little bit of met glass in the process excuse me amorphous metal met glass is a trademark term amorphous metal and basically I'm just hooked the grill motor up just like on the chloride winder use this as an adjustment I got to switch to turn it off and I just let it go real slow so it don't heat up and slowly cut through and once it cuts through it starts chattering a little bit and I can uh, wind it off cut the, and move the blade over I actually made four blades and uh, I could have gone with one blade one attachment here and moved them but I already got the four blades so seems to be working pretty good though you can see it's cutting pretty damn good now I mean, it, it took the, the sample roll to get it working properly. You can see here, this is a, a pretty, pretty decent cut. It's coming off there pretty good. A lot better than it did in the beginning. It kind of drags and it makes it hard to get those last couple rolls off. But, you know, it's, it's not that bad. After this thing runs a while, there's a little resistor in here, variable resistor, that uh, controls the chip to slow the motor up and down. I imagine it's a MOSFET of some kind. This, if it runs long enough, it starts to heat up. A little puff of smoke will come rolling up out of it. That little drill switch right there isn't designed to do this, obviously it overheated and burned out uh, I just put a PWM on it and uh, it's cutting away first cut it was pretty tough to get this tight enough to where there was no sponginess in it um, but um, it seems to be working okay now and uh, we'll see how it does in about an hour or so running like this I got to shut it off and when the motor starts to get warm I just shut it off and let it cool off turn it back on and uh, the hardest thing here is to try to gauge the depth of the cut I noticed on the, the reel it did work pretty good I, I'm pretty happy the last little bits a little tough to cut uh, but other than that the process seems to be working pretty good. I'll update it again here as soon as I've done a couple rolls here and I know exactly what I'm doing.